it is. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Brews and Blades for July 25th of 2021. Have my mic muted for a second there. Always got to have one little flub up at the beginning and get it out of the way. Uh, we are back to the stream yard this time, and I switched it to the 1080p. So hopefully the camera's a little better. It always looked good on my end. But some people said it didn't. I just didn't have the camera button pushed, and I discovered that button because another live stream that I watch, he was always screwing up doing the same thing, and he mentioned it, and I was like, oh, you know what? I think that's what I messed up too, and it is. So it's on 1080p now, so hopefully it looks better. Now let me turn my light off back here so you guys don't get so many shadows. It looks all right when I have the purple background, but not on this gray one. You guys get shadows galore. So I'm very glad everything's looking good. I do have a fly buzzing around here, so that may be a thing, but we'll find out. Maybe we'll catch a fly murder live on uh, camera. Probably not, because I'm not that coordinated, but uh, we shall see if it wanders into camera frame. But uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. Dan Brock, Nick Martino, Jexter, SOBX Scooter, Knife Eclectic, Folders and Other Things. Uh, yeah, I put the put the stitch out because you guys, I, it always winds up coming out eventually. So I thought it's better. And honestly, I didn't get, did I get any new knives this week? I don't believe I did. So yeah, wanted to bring that out. And um, yeah, don't think I got any new knives this week, but switching some stuff around. So catch it with chopsticks. Bennett, I'm not that coordinated at all. There is no possible way that I would ever pull that off, but. Uh, as always, Super Chat is open. If anyone wants to kick in a few shekels, Zach stuff, thank you very much. I see you did. Sorry, I missed it on the thing. Let's see if I can bring it up now. Uh, it's not letting me know. I waited too long. And I brought up a different one. But uh, well, that's fine. <laughs> Man who catch fly with Microtex accomplish anything. Yeah, if I could catch it like mid-open, that would be that would be awesome. I think probably an OTF would be better for that, though. Yeah. And if you click the Join button down, down there or... Are a member on the Patreon, you get access to the Discord chat, which is always a ton of fun. We do lots of sales. Lots of people are selling a lot of stuff on there. I am happy to see that. I see a lot of stuff marked sold very quickly, so uh, that's good to see. Uh, we're up to 240 people on there or something, uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm very happy to see that. Um, the knife nut says favorite microtech. Well, you'll find out shortly because I'm doing uh tomorrow. The video is my if there can be only one auto, and it'll there's uh there's a microtech on there, of course. So I guess you'll find out from that. Good for buyers, too. Yes, it, it's just it's good to see people just buying stuff, you know, and, and and helping people out that way. And we have a lot of silly, stupid fun. Um, the gaming section, I know this has been very active lately. I'm not a gamer, but a lot of you guys are, so it's cool to see everybody using that. Formula One section is pretty active. The general silliness is. Stupid GIF and meme section is doing good. So, yeah. Dan Brock says his favorite is the LUDT. My favorite is not this, I will say. This is wicked cool, but the stitch is, is not my favorite. It's it's big and silly and crazy, and like I, yeah, I, I love it. But it's not my favorite. Martino, I'm going to go my favorite auto Protec. I, I do like a lot of Protex, and I have a lot of Protex. So we will see. We will see. Uh, do you still have your spy opera? I missed it to click on here, but no, I don't. I did get rid of that. Um, I got when I got the uh, um, wood chaparral it just seemed kind of redundant so because they're both you know just kind of class i know it's one's my card one's one's wood but for that kind of gentlemanly carry sort of spider co it just seemed kind of redundant so i didn't i didn't keep that socom i do love the socom it's not gonna win my favorite auto though because uh i don't have an auto when i i have a manual i had the auto decided to keep the manual so Uh, Zach Stubbs, I was hoping for the My Tractor Sexy song on your video. Yeah, Keith is uh, has quite the pimped out tractor. It's a uh, so is it a Rolls Royce tractor? Is that what or is it a Mercedes tractor? Yeah, uh, did 
somebody asked if I wound up selling the bounty hunter. I did. Yeah, I did sell it. The, the Star Warsiness wore off after a while. It was cool, and I'm a huge Star Wars fan, but yeah, I didn't I didn't carry it. If I don't carry something, it goes away. So I did wind up selling it. It was really cool. I do love they do the bounty hunters. Maybe I'd do one again if they did it in the regular size Trudon, but I don't know. It, it just, probably not. I, it was cool to have it, but I don't carry it. It, it's, it wears off, you know. I thought you had a uh, spirit of ecstasy on the uh, on the hood from one of the ear pictures, but maybe it was just a, a regular flying other some other form of flying lady. As you know, oh, I got to open my beer for Christ's sake! What am I doing? It's eight oh six. I haven't opened a beer yet. I have had this before, but I purchased more of it because I really like it. This is the Hamburg Lakeview Lager. Today would have been a very nice day to be sitting by a lake. I was not. I was sitting in my in-laws backyard which was nice i actually i'm in the very fortunate position of, of where uh, my in-laws are great i like my in-laws a lot and i don't mind going and hanging out with them at all they're they're good peoples had pizza and uh, wings and there was not an ounce of ranch dressing to be seen Samurai, are there any lit series you're listening after? I mean, if you consider, you know, like Vero's and stuff like that, but I sort of don't keep up with a lot of the really limited edition stuff because um, it's uh, it's just I, I don't I don't feature on the channel. The videos don't get a lot of views, and by the time I do it, you can't get one anymore. So I just I just don't um, I just don't do it much. So so therefore, I don't keep track of them. Um, I like my in-laws to see them more than my own family, actually. Yeah, I mean, they've become more my family now because my parents are both gone and my only sister lives states away. So uh, it's, it's kind of nice to, uh, to, have, to have family again. Never thought I'd be the guy who called his in-laws mom and dad, but I call my, my mother-in-law mom a lot. I call my father-in-law dad occasionally, but usually just like, but not always. Uh, giant mouse are teasing new GM knife limited to 400. Yeah, that that's the kind of that's the kind of limited I would be. Um, I'm a bit more into. It's just when they do limited versions of stuff. But when will the Demco 20.5 come out? I mean, they're out. They were out. I don't. There's supposed to be more coming late summer. That's all I know. <laughs> Jay, the the, the twenty point five flopped. See when hit retailers. Yeah, they hit a, they hit several retailers. Um, they just were gone very very quickly. Um, any favorite brands using wooden handles? I mean, I like when the Spider Co does when the Spider Co does special edition wood stuff. They do a really good job with it. I have a wood chaparral. I really enjoy. Um. Have you seen the new blade and handle options at the Benchmade Custom Shop? Yeah, I need to get in touch with them uh, because they like the videos on the Custom Shop stuff, and um, I got to see if they want me to do another one and do one with a different thing. Yeah, click that like button, as Keith says. Ever had any Sherberkov? I don't even know how to say Sherberkov. I know what they are. Sherberkov, Sherberkov. I can half speak Russian and I'm still not quite sure how to say that. Cheberkov, but um uh no, I have I've have not ever had any. I've seen a few. Never had one. And James Hunt says I, I wish you were that James Hunt, but he's dead, so I know you're not the famous Formula One driver James Hunt, who was a friggin' legend. But I'm sure you're a legend in your own way. Uh, he said August is the new bunch. That's what he said on Knife Guy. What's his name? I don't know what Knife Guy, what's his name is. And now it's getting kind of hitchy. Is it getting that way for anybody else? I just won't move my hands very much as long as the sound is coming out okay. See, this is what happens when you do 1080p, and then now it's going to be all funky on me. 
I can probably switch it back to regular resolution if I want to, but I don't want to do that. I just want it to act better. Uh, about a CF Elite bug out, and that's all I want to carry more. That's a very good one. I've got the uh, carbon fiber S90V, but the CF Elite is very, very cool. And welcome, welcome, Matthew. Thank you for, for joining. Very cool to do that. It doesn't let me show that one when somebody just does it. There we go. It does. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. Um, check the uh, community page later this evening. Um, when we're a little bit after we're done, there will be a link to how you can join the Discord and get access to stuff. Um Murray Walker wasn't a fan commentating with him, but James Gronham. Yeah, the, the, his commentary was was okay. I didn't I didn't love it, uh, but it was all right. But his as a driver, he just was amazing. And Matthew Cousins says, "Thank you. Can't believe I hadn't joined before. Hey, better late than never, man." Oh, Night Junkie, he had John on. Yeah, I did see that, and the the hitchiness has stopped, so that's good. Ah, um, uh, so, um, what else do I got coming up this week? I'm doing that. There can be only one auto on the morrow, and then I'm going to have a review of this glow rhino something. I can't remember the name of it. I haven't recorded it yet. I'll, I assure you, I will remember the name by the time I record it. <laughs> um, and uh, oh wait, I was talking about the wood. I have it right here. The wooden chaparral, and I would bring out the Asher knives, um, Spiro titanium. That's the last video I did. But instead, I'm just going to encourage you to go back and watch that video because it's downstairs in my light box. <laughs> so I just realized just now. I thought I had it here in the on deck circle, but it's still in the light box from getting photos taken of it for the review. So. It's far away. Uh, Matt Earnhardt, have you ever tried Genesee Honey Brown Ale? I, yeah, it's meh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, K. Mason, did you ever get your rib back in place? Uh, pretty much. Um, I have to go back again uh, this week. Uh, but yeah, I would. It's it's it's. I would call it seventy percent. It definitely hurts a lot less than it did. Um, got pretty uncomfortable today driving back. My in-laws are like an hour and a bit away. And sitting in the driver's seat of the car was a bit uncomfortable. Took my wife's car. And um, it's not as comfortable as my car. And it did get a little, a little uncomfortable. But it's definitely better than it was. For sure. But thank you very much for asking. I appreciate that. Big Red EDC is here. And congratulations to him on his 5,000 subs. Good, good, good. Uh, between the sun and moon and the wood chaparral, which do you prefer? And is it worth getting a second one if I like my lightweight? Um, I prefer this over all of them. Uh, I have I had a sun and moon pass through my hands. Um, I actually got it. I was an intermediary with somebody who bought it and I sent it somewhere for him. Uh, but um, I, I prefer this. The wood one is slightly thicker and the handles are slightly more contoured. It's a bit more different than just slapping wood on it. Uh, the, the scales are thicker and a bit more contoured. I like the wood one better than any of them. I like it better than the lightweight. Lightweight, I don't know. I just didn't, it, it felt very not cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but it just didn't feel like I could do much with it. This still has a very, very thin blade, and you're very conscious of that. But yeah, this is kind of my primary, like, you know, gentlemanly sort of knife now. This, and then I have a real steel um, uh, Luna Boost Titanium. So uh, those are kind of my interchangeable ones now. And my TRM Atlas, but. Um, but, uh, and yes, congrats to Big Red EDC on his 5,000. Good job there, sir. Well deserved. 
Uh, oh, it clicked the wrong one there. Full liners made for lifting manhole covers. Yeah, I don't think this will do that, but <laughs> but I don't use it for any kind of... It is slicey as all heck. Uh, Knife Nut says, I'm having a hard time deciding on which to carry my TRM Shadow or my Ultra Tech. My Shadow is also down in the white box. Or I would bring that out. Uh, Sick Quacker... Do you still have your custom shop bug out? I don't because they came out with the S90V Carbon shortly after, and that's really what I wanted anyway. But those options weren't available in the custom shop back then. I don't think the S90V still is. Um, so that's I, I kept that instead because they came out with a production one. That's exactly what I would have gotten if I did the if if they had those options in the custom shop at the time that I got it. If that makes any sense. Uh, no mojo. I'm new to XHP, but I really like it. Yeah, one of my favorite steels, for sure. Uh, any chance to know how Pena front flipper is for lefties? I am the most right-handed person on the planet, so I never even try to do anything lefty with knives because I don't, I don't really enjoy stabbing myself. It's it's not one of my favorite activities. It happens. It's an occupational hazard that I have accepted, but I don't really enjoy it, so I don't um, I don't strive for it. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Big Red. I appreciate the super chat, and of course, yeah, any anything you ever need, let, let me know. I like your channel, and you do good things for people. Uh, Deadpool, if you were on Naked and Afraid, what knife would you take? I mean, it's a, it, I, I don't know. I don't know. Probably a machete of some kind. You're out in the... Because I'd immediately want to be hacking down stuff to build a shelter so I can hide my disgusting body. So I think I'm probably some kind of big, big chopper or something like that. I've clicked finishing up a test drive with a Techno 2 XHP solid stuff for sure. Yeah, it's great. Great, 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 great steel. The tops, yeah, something like that. Some kind of big chopping thing. <laughs> when that is naked, naked and afraid. I almost said the word, but I didn't. Uh, it is a show. It is exactly what it is. They take two people to one of these survival reality shows, but they're naked. A lot of blurring, um, but... Yeah, the one girl, what's her name? Melissa Backwoods. Uh, I don't that's I don't think Backwoods is her Christian name, but um she was on it, got kind of famous from it. Uh very nice girl. Met her at Blade Show and actually gave her a band-aid because speaking of dropping knives and stabbing yourself, she did that. And uh, I had I had a band-aids in my uh, backpack and gave her a band-aid. Uh, Arthur, not knife related. Bill Burr or John Mulaney for a night out, leaving the, the they're loving the new Knox solid recommendation. Thank you. Oh, the Knox is great. Um, do I have mine around here? I'm sure I have it somewhat close. Yep, it's right here. We'll switch something out. Yeah, the Knox is awesome. I, I, I do still really enjoy that a lot. Um, I would say, depending on your lady, um, Mulaney's probably a safer bet. I don't know if he's touring again yet. He just got out of rehab. So if you if you're talk if you're like looking at, at tickets, um yeah I'm not sure Mulaney's touring again. But Bill Burr is I like Bill Burr better. I think Mulaney is hilarious. I would go see Bill Burr, but um and with my lady we would go see Bill Burr. But um uh, Mulaney is also can't go wrong with Mulaney, but again I'm not sure He's touring. And I'm not telling tales out of school. It's like pretty public knowledge. He was in rehab. So, um, Mergo says, just saying hello. I hope you all enjoy your blades rules. Well, thank you for stopping by. Uh oh, Keith is out. The everything, the, the ropes are off. What's going to happen? What's going to happen with no Keith? 
sorry you pinched a nerve in your neck. Man, that, that sucks. Uh, feel better, dude. Go go to the chiropractor. Get it get it popped. I mean, now you can go to a chiropractor on a Sunday night, but I, uh, you know what I mean. Anarchy, yes. <laughs> Surgery with the Dalek. I don't think that would that would help anything, anybody ever. God, this one fly is driving me insane. It's a little bitty, tiny one too. I don't know what happened. We never have flies in our house, like, ever. And now, like, there are a ton of them downstairs. And a couple of them have started to infiltrate upstairs. And we have no idea where they're coming from. Or what happened. Um, is choked up the only comfortable way to use the... If you're talking about the nimble? I mean, no, it's not the only comfortable way. But it's, it's by far... By far the best way. It's definitely what it's designed for. Um, we've all seen his customized Delica. He will not let us. Oh, Damascus Delica. Oh, did he mess with it to make it look Damascus? You're talking about Keith. We all see his his Delica way more than we want to. Is that stuff something in the wall truck? I don't think so. There's no like weird smells or anything. I don't know. Just all of a sudden, they did a ton of yard work around the house lately, and I don't know if something got disturbed outside. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, did I ever check out the Gavco Thresher? I, I know I have had one in my hand for a significant amount of time. I'm not sure if I did a video on it or not. It's pretty cool. I remember liking it, but I don't know. Oh, Knife Click says, I've been ruined by Vox Days. I must use a finger choil if I see it. <laughs> it's a it's a compulsion. Oh, I'm definitely the same way. It's one of the things I like about my spider coats. I'm definitely a finger choil fan. Gotta be wasp nests. They're wilding this year. There's, but it's like those, and they're the weird looking flies. They're like the green ones. And I just don't know where they're, where the holy heck balls they're coming from. Uh, are there more? And if you could only choose one neutron or atom, uh, atom for me, because I just like the size of it better. Th that's the only reason why. I just like the size of the atom better. And that is that is the one I have. I do not own a neutron, and I do have an atom. So. You know, electric fly swatter. No, I'm going to get those fly trap things. I, I'm a Buddhist, so I try not to kill bugs. But I definitely do. I definitely do. But I, I try not to. But flies, no, I'm just going to get the fly traps. But swatting them's a bit. I don't like. I don't like to do that. I do sometimes, definitely by reflex. This one here is driving me insane. If it gets within reach, I'm going to swat it. But I don't. I don't do it. I don't know. I, I try not to, but I, I still do. I'm not a good Buddhist. I'm a Buddhist, but I'm not a, not a good one, obviously. I named a show after drinking, so. Uh, same here, but I hate flies laying on my stuff. Yeah. Sushinovsky says, just joined in. Is that a Jurassic? Yes, it is. I did a video on it. The video. I don't know why I just said it in that weird accent. I did a video on it. If you would like to go back and look at it. It's a couple, three videos ago. What's the knife on the right? This is the Arcane Designs uh, Necronaut 2, which I believe is up for either pre-order or ordered or something. I can't remember what status it's in. That's another one I haven't done the video for yet, so I gotta do it all. Uh, Nick Martino, what'd you have for dinner tonight? I had pizza and wings at the in-laws. 
a while ago. So I'll probably have a second late night dinner, which is probably going to be half of a leftover steak that I have downstairs. No, Mojo, that's hideous. Just my opinion. It's not an uncommon opinion. It is definitely a very love it or hate it knife. I, I kind of like it. Um, I said with this version, the, the Necronaut 2 is uh, surprisingly very comfortable in your hand, and it does not look like it would be. But uh, it's kind of cool. Arthur Morrison, TV time later. I don't know what is on television better than this. But jeez, fine. They have pizza and ranch. No, we're in upstate New York. There was not a out. There was fifteen people there, and there was not an ounce of ranch to be seen. No, oh, don't do the. You guys are just trying to wind me up with the pizza and ranch thing. I actually didn't eat the regular pizza. I, <laughs> Bobby Legs, I need old fever. That's a callback. I was on Bobby Legs' um, show, his live show on Friday night, talking about watches, and it's a great fun. It's it's a really good show. And he said, "Heiny whole fever," and it made me laugh very loudly. No, I actually did not even eat regular pizza. We got garlic pizza too, and I just had that because, again, yeah, I had a long drive home, and I didn't want honey whole fever so i had like four wings and a couple pieces of garlic pizza um sinister knife clip says olympics man i i'm not boycotting the uh, olympics but i'm not watching them because I, I think it's a really bad 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 idea to be having the olympics right now um and I think that's proving true every single day. More and more people, more and more COVID cases. Uh, I think it was a very dumb idea to have the Olympics this year. Um, so I guess I'm boycotting it. But, I mean, I look at the results and stuff like that. But uh, um, what's more expensive right now? I got to find that that comment. So they said, what's more expensive right now, wings or two by fives? Uh, I don't know. The wings were very expensive. We got a bucket of wings and it was $56. It's normally 35. So yeah, wings are pretty freaking expensive right now. And that's like front page news here in upstate New York. And yes, garlic pizza is very much very much the shiz. This was really good too. I never had it from this place. I don't I've only had it maybe I don't know 10 15 times in my life, but this was um this was excellent, excellent, excellent. He probably meant to say two by fours, but maybe it's metric. Uh no mojo, why do the oil impregnating bushings on my tail squeak? I don't know. Mine didn't. I only had the one. Yeah, bucket of wings, which is it's um four dozen. Or is it three dozen? It might have, no, it's four dozen wings, so it's not like that insane, but it used to be, yeah, in the upper I think it was like thirty eight bucks before. It was fifty six. Oh yeah, it's ten to an order. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're right. It's yeah, four so it was yeah, forty wings. Fifty six dollars. But it's not out of line with other places. Like in the place that we order pizza, we ordered a while ago and we didn't get wings. It was like a couple of weeks ago we ordered pizza. We didn't, maybe a week ago. We didn't get wings, but all the combo deals with the wings is um, gone. Uh, you can't, you can't do that. So you used to be able to get, you know, like pizza and, and a, and like two orders of wings or something like that. And they've gotten rid that is temporarily unavailable. That little coupon code. Are, do they have esports this year? I didn't see that. I saw skateboarding because I really want a t shirt that uh, one of my one of my friends got. He's a skateboarder. And a, and a like semi professional skateboarder, but um, he got a t shirt he found online and it said, um, skateboarding is a crime, not an Olympic sport. And the Olympic rings, the bottom two rings, were handcuffs. I thought that was a hilarious shirt. I don't skateboard at all, but I, I thought that was a very, very funny shirt. 
Nick Martino, have you ever eaten at Rockies? I did once, and it is excellent. It is very, very good. Skateboarding is a sport. If so, so, how do you? It's so no. I don't. My definition of a sport is, I think, what Bennett is getting at. You have to be able to win, just outright win. That's my definition of a sport. So, I know I don't consider skateboarding to be a sport because the judges decide who wins. Um, I know there are judges' scores in boxing and stuff, but that's a sport because you can you can still get a TKO or knock the guy out, and you can just win. Um, I think skateboarding is a worthy athletic competition, but yeah, figure skating, not a sport. Uh, gymnastics, not a sport. I think I'm not saying it's not worthy to be in the Olympics because the Olympics are a whole totally different thing. Uh, but to me, they're not sports. They're um, diving. You know, if, if, if it, there's judges, I don't consider it to be a sport. That's where I draw the line. Oh gosh, so they have esports, e and they, I guess at least you can win those. But my God, so who? They're not real medals, though, right? Are they doing one of those honorary things or whatever? So snowboarding is not a sport. Is this the snowboarding that they have? The half pipe, I don't think, is a sport. You have to get judges, but they have the snowboard like racing. That's a sport because you can just win it. And hello, Gregory. And uh, Click says a sport is an athletic activity where people compete. Doesn't need judges. Yes. That's my definition of a sport. <laughs> Dan Gore has mayonnaise an instrument? I don't think so. And uh, yeah, congratulations in advance to South Korea on your esports victory, yes. No, see, because boxing, the bo in boxing, that's what I, I said a second ago. In the scoring is a backup. You can totally just win at boxing. You can just knock somebody out or get a uh, TKO. So, the scoring is just a backup. That, that's the loophole for boxing. Boxing definitely a sport in my mind. Uh, and some MMA, same thing. Uh, saw your review of the nimble. Still liking it? Yep, I carried it yesterday. Actually, a uh, really cool knife. It's it's just so much fun and it's so fidgety and I likes it. I likes it a lot. So we're close enough to a hundred. Let's do. I can even do the little thing now. Where is the little thing? There we go. We'll do the pocket check. So, what's everybody carrying today? Today was for me. Uh, Malibu. So, yeah, because it was hot out. I meant to wear fairly light clothing and then decided I didn't want to wear my shorts and that it wasn't going to be too hot. And I wore jeans and it wound up being too hot and I sh should have worn shorts. But, um, yeah, this was my cho my choice for my shorts, but I didn't switch it when I put jeans on. So, uh, Protect Malibu for me today. Adam, Max A Sandstorm, ZT0308, Maximat PM2, good choice. XM18, three and a half skinny. Very nice. Smock. Your squeaky towels. <laughs> Sounds like a move of some sort. Get rid of the old squeaky towels. Uh, large and cozy. Nice one. Roosevelt. Benchmade Valet. Very underrated knife. Benchmade SOCP. Oh, yeah. I remember what that is now. It took me a second. It's a big one. Bug out 535-3. Very nice one. R2-D2. Beans on me at all time. I don't know if you just are a very messy eater, or if that's a knife that I'm not quite exactly sure what you're talking about. Uh, Ryan Power is one Hoke Deca. Very nice one. Quiet Carry Waypoint. Super Freak. CGRB Tigris and the Malia. Big CGRB fan there, John. Top of Street, Street Scalpel 2. S90V Shaman. Jade Finch Runtley, and Olight Warrior Mini. 
uh, WK exclusive Kaiser Swayback. Those are really cool. I should have got me one of them. I totally missed out on that. Um, 20 CV Capara. Bennett says had to use the large 21 Tanto to cut dinosaur barbecue at a family event. Oh, isn't that isn't that awesome? When he just gets a he gets a whip out a knife at a family event and do something. I had no excuse to take out a knife today. I didn't get any compliments on my knives because I didn't get to take it out. My father in law said he liked my watch. That was the coolest compliment I got today, which wasn't that great. Oh, and my my uh, nephew loved my sneakers. So I guess those are good compliments. But nobody asked about my knife. The guy who always asks about knives, my one brother-in-law wasn't there. So uh, Ryan Powers, one of your family ate a dinosaur. You feel like you ate a dinosaur. I have to know it's dinosaur barbecue. They're here in Rochester. Bennett is like lives down the road. Um, it's excellent. And they have them in Syracuse as, as well. Very good barbecue. But it's 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 just uh, the name is misleading. Unfortunately, they do not serve actual dinosaurs. It's just beef and pork and chicken. It's sad, really. But they're very very good. What watch and sneakers did you wear? Oh, Dan, I had my uh, Squale fifteen twenty one because it's summery and it's bright blue and it's very pretty and I like it. And then I just got some new Air Maxes. I didn't just get them. I guess I've had them for a couple weeks. But I love Nike Air Maxes. My old ones, um, I tried to wash them one too many times, and the heel cup came out of them. So that makes them kind of uncomfortable uh, when the heel cup's half hanging off. Uh, so I got new ones. I got these ones. I don't remember which ones they are. I guess I can take one off. They're only slightly dirty. I got these Air Maxes. which I don't know which ones these are. And it doesn't say. 90s? Air, Air Max 90 Pros or something like that? They were they were much more expensive than my last Air Maxes. I know that. Uh, it's beautiful watching show. Yeah, this is a Squally 1521 Blue. Um, they just, just re-released it, actually. This is a, one from a couple of years ago. But they just did another run of them. And yeah, it is a pretty, 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 pretty thing. Just... I just got a new pair of SB nineties. Yeah, I can't remember which ninety fives. Yeah, but they're like ninety five something or other pros. I know there's a the word pro in there somewhere, and it made them cost like thirty dollars more. But I wanted gray. I didn't want white. Sushinoski could smell your sneakers. Honestly, I can say my feet don't hardly ever smell because much like my hands, my feet don't sweat. So. I have that weird, freaky thing where my feet and hands never sweat. So, actually, yeah, my, my shoes hardly ever smell bad. They only smell bad if they get, like, wet. That's the only time I ever have smelly shoes. I'm a good boy. Uh, i got to bust out my Jordans to work. Someday. Yeah, I only have one pair of Jordans, but they're really cool ones. Uh, they're so damn comfortable. The price where they, yeah, the Air Maxes are just so. I, I've gone through. I have crap feet. Um, I broke the bones in one, and then I don't know favoring the other one. Anyway, I got like occasional very mild plantar fasciitis and stuff. So, um, I I'm really picky about sneakers, and I've gone through a lot. And I boycotted Nike for a while, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad I got it. Um, I'm so glad I, I I gave up on that and started buying Nikes again because Air Maxes are just awesome and they're worth every freaking penny. And uh, welcome, Teddy. I'm glad you made it in. Greg Burke, how well will the Bills play this season? Couldn't possibly care less. I'm a Jets fan. Click. I used to only wear Nike, but switched to Adidas. I wear Adidas on stage most of the time. I have a pair of Superstars and a couple pairs of Sambas. I mostly wear um, Adidas on stage, but 
I don't wear them like day to day. I like I like my Air Maxes. Uh, I love my Jordan threes and fours until the day. After. I've got the uh, Jordan one um, all blacked out. They're black monochrome. Are they going to change the Jets' names like Cleveland? I can't see why they would. Uh, stage? Yeah, I'm a comedian. Try some Adidas Ultra Bruce. I didn't like the way they looked. They didn't. I just, just aesthetically, they were not very pleasing. Not that Air Maxes are particularly pretty or anything, but. Um. So is your daughter finally a senior at her college? No, she's just starting uh, college. She's going off in, uh, I don't know if she wants me to say what college, so I won't, but she's going off to college in, uh, in August, next month. Ryan Gilbert, Crocs in 80-25. I can't do Crocs. I just, I just can't do Crocs. No, I just won't. I just will not. Won't even consider it. Uh, nice watch has picked up a Citizen Pro Master Diver. I have one of those. Yeah, those are great. Citizen Pro Master Divers are just a perfect. I recommend to people all the time. Eco Drive. You don't have to worry about changing a battery. You don't have to worry about. Lining it, setting it, anything like that. They're and they're tough as nails. I really like them. Is mine around here? I wore it the other day. Yeah, no, it's downstairs. Uh, somebody said Adidas are too wide. Yeah, that's why I only wear them on stage. Because I walking around, my feet hurt. But I love the way they look. They look cool as heck. It's been, they fit with my general aesthetic of what I wear when I'm on stage. So I almost always wear those on stage. But um, and it says only issue with citizens of crafty loom. The pro, the diver does not have that issue. The 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 loom on the diver is is excellent. It's one of the ones that actually bothers my wife when I go to bed. She actually says it's too bright. It doesn't last as long as the Seikos, but it's really freaking bright. The Purser Citizen Skyhawk. I had, well, I had a Nighthawk for a while. No, I just can't. I know I know lots of people love Crocs, obviously. They're a hugely successful company, but I just can't make myself do it. Imagine what sunburnt feet look like wearing Crocs. I, funny related story to both of these topics. So I raced for Trek Volkswagen for a while, and um, we were sponsored by Nike one year. We had to wear these Nike gloves, and they had a swoosh on the back of the hand. And um, I had for months... I had a permanent like swoosh on my hand, like the mark of the beast, <laughs> like a white swoosh in the middle of, because they were like uh, mesh gloves with a solid swoosh on them. So it tanned all around the swoosh. So I had a white, stark white swoosh on the back of my hand with all the, the rest of it was all tanned. <laughs> oh, I already did that one. I just tried another Bennett one. It was very funny. Where is it? Missed the days when they could paint watch dials with radium and smoke on airplanes. Yep. And if you get around enough uh, enough radium, you will smoke on an airplane. An involuntarily. Uh, I raced. Uh, I raced everything, but I was good at mountain bikes. Didn't enjoy it. But I did it because I was good at it and I won a lot and got paid for it. But um, I, if I was good on the road, I would have much, much preferred that. But I wasn't good enough.
uh, Christopher Ward. Yeah, some of those are pretty cool. What other knife did I want to talk about? Oh, I also got coming up in a few days, obviously. End of the month, I'll have my most carried for the month. I haven't looked yet. I'm pretty sure I know what number one's going to be, though, because I'm still... Let's bring this in. I'm still carrying the snot out of this thing. What are we going to take away? Take away the neck or not, but definitely the Model 1 V6 from ABW. Still carrying this a ton. Uh, <laughs> Teddy Gorman, better, better at cycling or coming. Well, um, I got hurt a lot racing mountain bikes, like a lot, a lot. I had to retire at 23 because of injuries. So whilst I weighed a bit and I was uh, pretty fast, I have to say I'm better at comedy because I've never been injured doing stand-up yet. I'll be the first. But... My wife took my Spidey Chaparral bird's eye maple. Oh, no! I hope she's a good wife. hope you forgave her. It is a great knife. My wife actually likes mine a lot, too. This is this is a knife that I can see she would actually carry. Uh, well, kind of wounded egos, maybe. Yeah, I never, I've never, I've never been um, medically transported away from the scene, though. <laughs> so not yet, anyway. Actually, I only took one ambulance ride do mountain biking. I should have taken three, but I only took I only took one. The other two teammate drove me to the hospital. Another one, um my uh now ex wife drove me to the hospital and I got yelled at. Uh, I was playing with my thresher on the couch. My wife told me she needed some garlic chop and dared me to use the thresher. <laughs> well no, that's that's a yeah, oh yes please. You always look for an excuse to use your knife. Um, okay, Mason, what's a good pen to get? Tactile turn? Yes, I love tactile turns pens. Is mine up here? Yes, it is. I, I love the tactile turn pens. This is the mini. This is the smallest one. And I like that's the size I like the best because I don't like long things in my pants. Um, long, pokey things in my pants. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great. Great, great, great pen. This is the one with the Zerk, Zerk button. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It says to hold my beer, and it matches. I have the matching knife now, so yeah, I can occasionally carry this little, this little duo of the rock wall and the pen. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty neat. Uh, I think we've been through this, but tactiles knife or a QC waypoint. Didn't I? Didn't I do that video already? Pretty sure I already did that video. So I'm going to make you go watch it. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to make you go back and watch it. Uh, have you handled the Kaiser swayback? I have not. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be too small for some people, but for me, it's fine. And I have big hands, and it's it's fine. Um, Sue, I want to go back and find your comics. I have something to say about it. Uh, I lose pens. See, but what I found is because I used to lose sunglasses all the time. It's that time of night. The dog's barking again every time. Uh, but I used to lose sunglasses all the time, and then I started buying really expensive sunglasses. Not really expensive. <laughs> Like Oakleys and stuff, you know, decent price sunglasses. Stop using losing sunglasses. When you have a, a ninety dollar pen in your pocket, yeah, you keep track of it. Yeah, somebody else right on this. Justin Bates said, yeah. When you have a more expensive pen, you you check. When you get up, you check and make sure it's in your pocket and stuff, and you don't lose them as much. I used to lose pens all the time. I don't lose expensive pens. I don't lose sunglasses anymore. When I started getting expensive ones, I had a couple. Of pairs of sunglasses swiped at comedy open mics and stuff, but and one idiot comic stole my sunglasses. Dude had the 
balls to show up the next week wearing my sunglasses. And he said, oh, I found them. I go, yeah, on my table next to my beer when I stood up for five seconds. You didn't find them. In the immortal words of Norm MacDonald, he was a real jerk. Fanatic Edge has some sick customized Chavez pens. Yeah, the, I like Hinderer pens a lot, too. They're pretty good. Um, I like if you don't want to spend as much on a tactile turn, I really like the Machine Era stuff. Machine Era pens are really good. But the one, the one they have with the pocket clip, I have that one. The pocket clip is garbage. But um, the Machine Era Classic is really good. Uh, I don't have either of my Hinderer ones up here. Do I know? But oh my god, I think my neighbor's got another freaking dog. That's a different bark. I think they have two. I think they got another. They're three dogs now. Oh my lordy. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I got patted down during club last night. I was worried they'd make me leave the boost mini smoke, but didn't notice it. <laughs> I'm surprised about that. I'm really surprised by that. No offense, Bennett, but you're not the most scary looking dude in the world. So maybe that's why. Um, Justin's. What's Justin's? Is that sunglasses? I don't know what Justin's is. I thought it was a shoe company, but I could be wrong. I have the classic. It's the best bank. Book. Yeah, I have two of them. I've got the, the brass one, and I've got a regular one. Boots Company. That's what I thought it was. Uh, Western Boots. Yeah, that's probably why I've never had any. I'm not into the, the uh, Western look. Um, any reason there isn't 100 likes? Yeah, give me some more. Give me some more likey likes. It does really help out the algorithm, I guess, and stuff. Uh, nice, fast. Love my Parker Jotter. They're great. They make some beautiful looking Parker Jotters. I have one. I got one as a gift in the Air Force a long, long time ago, and I still have it. Oh, my God. God, these dogs. And these people are just out there yelling at the dogs. Take the dogs and stop yelling at them. And take them inside. I would yell, but my wife has a headache and she's downstairs. Ah. Uh. Um... And, uh, <laughs> it's the age-old question, Zach. Who let the dogs out? You can bet your sweet bippy it wasn't me. Jeez. Idiots. Idiots. I know it's exactly what the house is. It's the house behind me. Um... <laughs> Doesn't New York state law require you to yell at your neighbors? Um, not not all of them, but at least a few people on your block. Yeah, you have to yell. You have to uh, have at least a minimum of one awkward convert, uh, awkward confrontation per day. Or, yeah, they remove your they remove your liquor your liquor license. They remove your driver's license. I just was talking to my brother-in-law about his liquor license so that's why it was in my head but they remove your driver's license and make you leave the state i thank you very much for the super sticker little clappy clappy hippo i don't know what how i'm supposed to feel about that or what subliminal message i'm supposed to get from it uh, Jerry said, just hopped on. I want to say I love your upbeat attitude and general chillness. Well, that's great. And yeah, I'm glad you don't hang out with me 24-7. I'm not always so happy. I just like hanging out with you people. So that's why I'm always in a good mood on Sunday nights. 
Uh, did I hear sweet bippy right now for those two young know, <laughs> including me? I just looked that up. Uh, uh, in your <laughs> look that up in your Funkin' Wagnalls. I don't I don't know where I got that from. My uh, most likely my mother. All my old timey stuff I got from my mom. Uh, Funkin' Wagnalls is an excellent reference, though. That is very, very good. <laughs> Uh, what's the knife all the way to the right this guy here this is a uh american blade works model one v6 i did a full review of it and everything if you want to go back and find that brian's new rank scott and says general chillness no because that's horribly inaccurate i if people would not describe me as chill in my general life i think that would be inaccurate um, major snark would probably be a more, more accurate one. And, uh, yeah, as he says, I have a V4. Yeah, I had, I had a V4. And then by the time I did the review, he'd come out with the V5. And then now I got the V6, I guess he's done now. So I like it. Uh, Captain Obvious, that's taken, and it's it's probably copywritten. American Law Man. They stopped. The dog stopped. I hope the spell I was wishing in my head is the reason why they stopped. Any thoughts on the Shiro, Shiro Neon and Al? been eyeing them lately price isn't too ridiculous i think that's what bennett got is a neon is that what you got ben i know he just got a shear and i need to hook up with him and go over and check it out uh oh why that that was weird camera went black for a second that was that was creepy that was creepy. Neon Ultra light you got. Yeah. I knew it was a neon of some sort. I don't know. Oh, they're back. They're back. Oh, my neighbor's taking care of. I can hear my neighbor screaming at him now. <laughs> my neighbors are yelling at each other now. That's great. See, New York, things just work themselves out. Things just work themselves out. I think the Model 1 V6 is his favorite EC. It has been since I got it, yeah. But, you know, it's always one of those things. Um, I, uh, it's, he asked me tomorrow, and it may be something different. But, yeah, my neighbor took care of that. He's a big dude, too. <laughs> All I heard was, your mutts and then it ended <laughs> at least the best <laughs> uh mr got mouth the barking really that bad i mean yeah i know you guys can barely hear it but it's really loud to me i don't know what he said but it ended in your mutts so that's uh that's a good one we had some suspense tonight find out what what's going to happen to the dogs What are the two pokers to the left and right of the hinder? This is the Civivi Knox that I did a review on, and this is the uh, Demco 8020.5 also did a review on. 
New Yorkers yelling, the earth is healing. <laughs> yeah, all is right with the world. I do a whole bit about that, about how people Midwest hold stuff inside. We're in New York. If we're mad about something, we just let it out. And I think that's the healthier way to do it. We yell at each other. Everybody's mad for 10 seconds, and we don't think about it again for the rest of our lives. And you know, hold it all inside. You wind up downstairs in the basement at 2 in the morning twisting cats. There's a lot, a lot of serial killers from the Midwest. It's a true thing. Uh, tactile rock wall, one of them. Yeah. Uh, it would be funny if, if they, it would be entertaining if they watched you and did this on purpose. Oh, I would actually very, um, I'd, I'd very much respect that. I would give them big, big, big props. Is Twisted Cats a band name? I don't know. Uh, other than intent and purpose. If you ever pissed off my grandma, you wouldn't say any. I'm not saying all of them, but as a majority. I just can't stand the whole, like, it's it's mostly Midwestern people, I think. But Midwestern country people, just the whole thing, they're, just don't, it's not just them. I think people from, uh, some Southern people do it as well. A lot of hippy dippy Californians do it. Just uh, let it out when you're mad. Raise your voice a couple times a day. And again, everybody forgets about it 10 seconds later. Everybody's fine. And you move on with your day. Um, <laughs> oh, thick quacker. It said it was part of I was re, I was telling a story. It was really, it's part of my act anyway. Um, so, yeah, Sinister Michaels. Yeah, venting is good for you. Ask Chernobyl. See, Chernobyl held it inside. No, everybody in California is definitely not hippies. There's a lot of definitely not hippies in California. Like, but if a but California hippies hold stuff in too and don't act mad, well, you know they're actually mad. If you're actually mad about something, say you're mad. Say you're mad. And sometimes you know what you say you're mad, and the person says, "Oh, I'm sorry." And they fix what you were mad about. And then everybody leaves happy. Uh, quiet carry reminds me of SRK1. There is not a quiet carry out here. Oh, they're back. <laughs> Texans don't yell, you're busy loading. Yeah. Uh, open rebuke is better than secret love. I will say one of my favorite emotions ever is righteous fury. That that's a, that's a great emotion. Righteous fury is a fun one. Uh, From the East Coast now in the Midwest, we have different, very different views on car horns. Oh yeah, for sure. I think everybody outside of the East Coast is there. They don't, you know, the car horn is there for a reason. Uh, does the action of a microtech get easier? I just need to strengthen my thumb. Um, it yes and no. It'll get easier, but it, there it depends. Some of them are still going to remain stiff all the time, so. Little column A, little column B. Shrimp mallet horns in the south are fighting words. It's just a thing that I mean it's there. Like it's that the horn is there. They installed it with the with the car. It's there. Use it. If somebody's in your way, honk the horn. If they're sitting at a stoplight not paying attention, honk a horn. I don't get mad when people do it to me. It's fine. I'm of course a perfect driver. No one ever honks their horn at me. But when they do, I don't get mad about it. 
Mickey asks you, what's the what's the ad story with Quartermaster Nine's Chunk of Jeff? Well, your caps lock is stuck, and you somehow made an upside down question mark. But um, I've never even like I couldn't identify one if I even saw it. Um, been waiting for the Thai quiet carry drift to restock for song. It's, it's next month. And I'm getting one. Um, you honk shaving a haircut south of the border, you risk your life. <laughs> Who would honk that? Let's go beep. You did an upside down question mark though i didn't even know you could do that so that's cool uh in some states it's it is illegal to use your horn except to warn for emergency or to make an animal move. It, it's a it is illegal here to do that but we don't care G10 drift isn't bad at all. It is not bad at all. I did sell mine because I'm getting the Thai one, and I know I, I know I'd like the Thai one better. So, but it is pretty cool. I don't type in Espanol, so I didn't know you could do the upside down question mark. So in October, is it October? I thought he said, I thought for sure he said August. Anyway, whenever they come back, I'm getting one. I have a few knives around. I'll be all right. Matthew Cousins, humans are animals. You're right. You're not allowed to honk, except for to get an animal out of the way. Human is an animal. This is this is correct. Hold down on the thing with the thing with my keyboard is not even like set my keyboard over to the side, but I know it's the Espanol question mark, but I don't type in that language very often. I've been typing in German enough now that I've thought about getting a European keyboard and having two keyboards. One of the new things is an SC Zula 2. I've seen that one. Uh, do you think in Demco 8020.5 is worth paying 250? No. What, secondary prices? No. Don't do that. Don't feed the beast. There'll be more out. August, somebody just said, or September, somebody said. I can't remember what they said. Nice, fast. Isn't everything illegal in New York? Not weed. Weed's legal. And I don't mean to sound like an old man, but I'm going to sound like an old man. They just made weed legal in New York, what, th three months ago? And I don't mind. It's fine. I don't smoke pot anymore. I used to, but I don't anymore. I don't mind people that do. It's totally fine with me. But I am 110% sick of the smell of weed when I'm driving around. Oh, my God. I live in a city. It's every freaking drive through line I'm in. Every. Uh, Join late. It was the knife on top. This is a Spider Coast Chaparral Bird's Eye Maple. Check out the 2021 knife models on the Ferrum Forge site. Looks like there's some cool stuff it's supposed to come out this year. Yeah, they do have some really cool looking ones. Um, is it looking kind of hitchy for everybody else every now and then when I move my hands around? It is on my screen, but I don't know if it, it is or not. Sinister knife clips, edibles. Bro. Yeah, I hope that's what people switch to because this is ridiculous. Um. Uh, I think I think the twenty point five is worth the one fifty, but I would not. I would definitely not. Um, not spend the extra cash. Audios go max seven hundred nine. Well, I'm trying. Everybody said the video quality was bad, so I switched to the ten eighty. And now, next time I'll do a hybrid. I'll do the ten eighty, and then I won't use my Wi Fi. I'll use my. Uh, actually, let me see if I can try it now. I apologize if the camera goes a bit wonky for a second. I'm going to try to kill my Wi-Fi and see if that helps. 
Wi-Fi is a lot faster than my over the air, although I do have 5G now. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, why do MG 8020s go for like 600 plus in the secondary? Because those don't come out very often. So that, that I, I mean, I wouldn't pay that for it, but I, I get why people would. But this is a this is a uh, you know production knife, so I don't know. Um, Sue so, Chesky Rochester has a three inch blade limit. Downtown does, yeah. I got to use a landline to stream. It is definitely not. I definitely don't think it's my internet connection. I think it's a StreamYard thing because I use this same connection all the time. I never have any problems. I never had any problems with StreamYard at 720, but I am at 1080, and I think I think it's a StreamYard thing. Oh, well. Not going to use that anymore. Um, there's an 80 going for just over 1,900 right now. Yeah. People will pay ridiculous amounts. Any experience with M398? No, hardly anybody's using them right now. I can see, like, so it's StreamYard, because as soon as I put up one of your comments, it comes up very nice and smooth. But then the video is all hitchy. It's StreamYard. I want to use your product, and it doesn't work right. Um, so many people watching the Olympics now because I did over the air and on the, the Wi-Fi and they're both and I have uh, fiber optic Wi-Fi so I have just about the fastest Wi-Fi you can get in the house and it's uh, with a brand new fancy pants router and it's not it's StreamYard faux show So on 0392 going for, well people can ask those prices all they want but you got to see what they actually uh, what they actually wind up selling it for well due to the hitchiness um i'm going to cut this off tomorrow next week uh we will not be using Streamyard. i'm uh, i've given them two chances and uh they're not working great i will only use it when i do interviews and that will be it uh, because when I do 720, people complain about the um, the the picture quality, and when I go to 10 1080, this happens. So, um, nice try, Streamyard. Not going to use them for a while, but uh, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. And I will see you next week, same time, same place. We'll be back, regular tubes of you and all that stuff. Have a good one.